Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming to our conference here in Cambridge, Murray Edwards College, ISAS 2012, The Arts and Sciences of Human-Animal Interaction. Uh, very pleased to see you all here. I know other people are coming along during the day. I'm just going to give you a few points of introduction and then introduce you to a few other people as well. Um, conferences like this, no conference that goes on can go on actually without kind sponsor uh, sponsorship. Uh, we're very fortunate to have money from uh, Waltham, our, our principal sponsor for this conference. They've sponsored many of our conferences in the past and we're indebted to them. Without sponsorship, your registration fees would be so high you wouldn't be able to come. So we're very grateful to our sponsors. Our other sponsors as well, we have major sponsors, the International Fund for Animal Welfare and Nestle Purina. And also the Humane Society of the United States have sponsored us this year. And we always have continuing sponsorship from the journal's um, publisher, Berg, who are owned by Bloomsbury. And we also collaborated this, time, this year for the first time with Antennae, the Journal of Nature in Visual Culture. Um, I'd like to just quickly introduce you to our other co-organizers who I couldn't do this without. We have Adrian Thomas, who's there. Adrian, do you want to just... Oh, you, can you stand up? Yes, you can. Uh, just say hello, Adrian Thomas. Um, had great help also from her partner, uh, John Livesey, who's there. Uh, uh, Giovanni Aloy, where are you, Giovanni? Here we are, from N the editor of Antennae. Uh, and of course, we've had uh, fantastic help from our event organizer, Pauline Appleby, who you've all met in many ways, through, mainly through email, but also in person here. So her and her team, we should clap her. <laughs> she's kind of OK, and we have a great production team here. This is the first time we've ever tried filming our talks. So we're going to see how that works. We've got a great team with Adrian at the back there and all the team there have been setting everything up in both the seminar room and here. So, um, so thank to our sponsors, definitely. Well, one point I need to make about our program today, there's a slight change in the order of talks. Jonathan, uh, John Bradshaw can, cannot arrive until later today. So his talk is actually going to be on Friday and that's going to be swapped with Friday's talk, which is meant to be by Penny Bernstein about cats. Both talks just happen to be about cats. Um, Penny, very unfortunately, cannot make it to the conference because she's not well. But, and in fact, you know, I would say a prayer for myself, and I do, but I do, do, do think of her if you know of her. Um, she's uh, just a bit unwell at the moment. But fortunately, her great friend, Erica Friedman, has stepped in to give that presentation. So that will be held this morning, or this afternoon, rather, at uh, 2.50 p.m. So that's just the slight change in the program for today. Okay. Uh, we also have an art installation this afternoon, which has been organized by Judith Matsuko. Now, this is where we're going to use the seminar room, and she's going to lay out a map in the floor, and only 25 people at one time can actually be involved in the 20-minute installation. Um, so we're going to run that this afternoon, and then she'll run it again, and we'll see. And what we need to do is have... I believe, Pauline, people can sign up to say which session they'd like to attend for that, just so we can see how the numbers go. And if we have a lot of demand, then in the evening we can run that uh, again, I think, if Judith is happy to do that. So, um, so that's a, a different, another aspect that's different about our conference this year. And our f another point is we have two people who, in this room at least, will be doing, when we have questions, we'll have a microphone. We have both Irene here and Guillaume over the other side who will have microphones that she, they can pass out to you so you can ask your questions and we can all hear you. And I think that's all I need to say right for now, but what I'd like to do is introduce you to the president of ISAS, who is Pauline Bennett from La Trobe University in Australia. So, Pauline, I'd like you to come up. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Um, I also would like to begin by thanking our sponsors who are amazing. This conference couldn't happen without them, so please uh, support them in any way that you can. Um, terrific. Sorry. Do you want to Just go? forgot a few people who give us products as well, and that's very kind of them 
to have supported us. I'm sorry, Pauline. I just realised I didn't put that one up. So there's a variety of people that have put things into your bags. Um, and also, Erica Friedman wanted to say that if you don't like dairy-free chocolate, she's quite happy to have yours. So. <laughs> So yes, thank you again to our sponsors. We, we really do appreciate your support. The conference couldn't happen without our sponsors and, and that's terrific and we'll keep hearing about them during the week. Um, ISAS, some of you will know, is a fairly small organisation. We're it, the people in this room and our collaborators and our friends. So we rely on you to support our conferences and we love to have you and, and I also <coughs> want to thank you for coming and thank you for taking time out to prepare a talk or a poster and present it because this is what makes ISAS what it is, which is a scientific community of people who do great stuff about human and animals and things like that. So I would like to say thank you for coming and give yourselves a clap for turning up. <laughs> It's great. Okay, now a couple of housekeeping things. And the other thing is, because we're such a small community, please make yourselves known. So, you know, at lunches, at morning teas, at dinners, come up and say hello to people. We're all friendly. Nobody in this field bites because, you know, <laughs> we know that that's a bad thing. We're well socialised and well bred and all that kind of stuff. So, so make yourselves known to each other and, and make friends. That's how the world works. Um, lunch time today, we've got a special event on that you need to know about, so, even, so you need to get your lunch fairly quickly and keep moving. Um, and what this is, is um, a workshop on NICHD, I need to, I need to print, read that because it's difficult, the Mars Waltham HAI Research Funding Forum. Okay, now without the name, what it is on tips on how to get money. Right, so definitely go and turn up, that's really, really important that you do that because obviously we can't do our research without funding and we need to know how to do that and get better at, at attracting money and using it effectively. So go along to that. While you're in there, you will see a bunch of posters that have been prepared by people who have got fundings from the NIH Waltham Partnership. Is that correct, Sandra? Yes? So, so the people who have got funding from that have got posters around that room, and they're prepared to talk to you and give you tips and tell you about their research. Those posters are only going to be there for lunchtime. There are other posters in a different room which will be up all for the whole conference, but these ones are only there for that lunchtime session, so please go along. <coughs> please make yourself known to people. Talk to the people that you're interested in. Okay. Now, what else did I have to do? I think introduce Sandra. So some of you will know that we have a um, Walthams and ISAS work together to fund research. We, we have a, a funding round every two years where we uh, go through a process of selecting from amongst a, a bunch of grant applicants. And I know I've seen some of you this morning that I haven't met yet, but I've seen your grants and we appreciate your support in putting those grants forwards. Unfortunately, we can only fund one and um, our, our collaborators Waltham, so Sandra McCune is going to come up here and announce the winner, and we're going to award her not so much the money today because she'd be mugged going out of the building, but we're going to give her a nice certificate and, and welcome her because uh, it's, it's a lovely project and we're hoping that they are very successful in that and that will be another step up in terms of our research. So I would like to introduce Sandra McCune who's going to make that announcement. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pauline. Um, so I, I hope, I know I, I know a lot of you in the room, but for anybody who, who doesn't know me, Sandra McCune is my name. I work at Waltham, which is part of, of Mars Incorporated. And uh, we are based just not far from here, actually, about 50, 60 miles up the road. And we're based at the Waltham Centre for Pet Nutrition. And there is a lot of different areas of, of research that go on there, mainly focused on, on nutrition. But one of the programs that we have, which is really lively, is in human-animal interaction. And I have the privilege of, of heading that, um, leading up that program. Um, so I'm going to take an opportunity just to tell you a very, very little bit about Waltham. So Waltham really is this, is this global um, hub, if you like, that supports the, the Mars um, pet care brands uh, around the world. So, so Pedigree, Whiskers, Neutro, um, particularly from the US. Uh, there's also brands in, in horse and um, bird and fish and so on. And, and what's done at Waltham is the fundamental science that underpins the quality of, of those brands. So we do a lot of work there. We have a big site. We have dogs and cats on site and, and birds and fish indeed as well. Not horses, but we have those in the surrounding area that we work with. 
And um, if you have never been to the, to the Waltham Centre, then, um, and you'd like to have a visit there at some point, then do come and talk to me and we can see if we can set that up. And um, it would be a pleasure to host you, to host you there. And in terms of Waltham and in terms of Mars, we have a long history in terms of supporting research in this area. And we go way back to the very beginnings, really, of the field and supporting ISAS and other groups, such as IHIO. Um, but I guess in about 2007, uh, we, we had a big review of this area within the business and, and got back into it in a rejuvenated way and started funding uh, projects. And one of the really important things was setting up a partnership with um, our partners who are here from the National Institutes of Health. And that has been focused on, on HAI research and, and part of that was around um, increasing the quality of research in the field and also increasing the, the funding that was available. And so that's what the panel is that, that Pauline referred to is the posters reflect that research that's been done through the partnership and also through, through Waltham as well from that time in, in 2008 when we first started studying. So do have a look at that. If you don't get a chance because the posters are, are, are only up for a short time, there is a booklet in your bags that has all of those posters, so have a look. But in terms of supporting that objective of um, investing and encouraging high quality research in this area, we were absolutely delighted to partner with ISAS, and we did this, we started this several years ago, and looked to invite applications from across the field um, to come in and to be peer-reviewed um, and to select only one, I'm afraid. <laughs> it has to only be one, uh, and that's every two years. It's about $45,000. Uh, so, so do come and have a chat if you've got ideas that you'd like to discuss about that. And so this year is a year where we are awarding the, the award, and this year it's going to uh, a UK group. And I'll read this out because it's quite a long list of them. <laughs> so the, the study this year that is being funded um, will go to Professor Danny Mills, um, Dr. Sarah Ellis, who's going to come and receive the award in a moment, from the University of Lincoln. But also then we have some uh, colleagues at Glasgow Caledo Caledonian University. So that is Professor Malcolm Grant, Dr. Philip Adol, Dr. Brian Ellis, who's Sarah's father, and Dr. Margaret Grant. And we will work together collaborating on the topic, which is the influence of dog ownership on objective measures of free living, physical activity, and sedentary behavior in community dwelling older adults. So a topic that um, a lot of people have recently started working on, and um, is certainly there's a lot of interest in the role that pets can play in physical activity. So I'm going to invite Sarah to come up, if she's in the room. I hope she's in the room. There you are. <laughs> Great. And congratulate you, you on getting the award for this year. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, and once again, thank you. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, Sarah and team. Um, so, we're about to start. I might just mention, I can't, I'm not sure I didn't do a last minute check on the Wi Fi access, but it was, we were having problems with it, which wasn't the fault of the college, but there's something to do with the server. I don't know if it's up yet, but, uh, and bear with us. Is this, it is up. Oh. Hooray! That's what we need. When we live in a Wi-Fi world, we always seem to need it. Anyway, but I, I hope that's on. I, I should remind you too that while in the theatre, it's best to have, and we do need you to have your mobile phones turned off, really actually off rather than just silent, so that otherwise it can interfere with the systems. Um, uh, we mentioned the lunchtime Waltham event, so that's fine. The po posters will be up in the long room, and that, they'll be up for the whole conference. So. If you don't feel like going to the Waltham event at lunchtime, you can go over to the posters <coughs> at, in the long room. So you can do whatever you like, of course, but Waltham have very kindly put on their display of research and uh, their kind sponsorship. So thank you very much again. Uh, I think now we're a little bit early, which is nice, because we never know how things will overrun. So I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll introduce you to Adrian Thomas again, who's going to introduce our first plenary speaker, who is... Mary Midgley, of course. So we'll have Adrienne come up and she will chair the session with Mary. <coughs> 